welcome to vision board community so today i'm inviting to guna so uh, why he actually like she is coming to hear me i think she's the best person the people can explain about how a law package because based based upon our law package only we are getting like a better better opportunity but in the case of guna she got like an offer from 4 lpa to like a 20 plus lpa package with a six offer letter so maybe guna can able to share more insight about like and how the transition how much effort she put so guna are you there yes devi guna welcome to the vision board community thank you so much for inviting me here yeah so we are eagerly waiting to your success story yeah, they be sure I can uh, share as much as possible. Yeah, sure. Um, so actually, um, so thesis has been my first company. So, um, so since I completed college, so I've been joined there. Um, so, so from the first year, I have uh, started learning about the cloud computing technology. So I was not in the technical domain. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been in the support team. Uh, it's it, it's an internal support. It's not even related to any core or something. Um, so I've been there around three years. Um, so then uh, I got released from the support project, and then I got um, so another project related to Azure domain. So mm-hmm. that time I was opted to uh, Vision Board community. Like I was, I started learning from there. So that helped me to uh, join the another project. Uh, that is not a development role. Um, so that is support role. Oh. Um, so I've been there around uh, uh, six to eight months. So okay. uh, so I learned how um, that works. So mostly I've, I've not in the uh, development domain, but I've been closely working with the developers. Um, so started learning a lot of things. Since evenly, um, um, I, I learned uh, from the Vision Board community as well. <laughs> so, um, so then um, September uh, 6th batch I've opted. Uh, so... So I started learning continuously. So then there was a gap uh, for two months and I couldn't focus because I got another project. So there, there have been onboarding, uh, continuous learning was there. So that was a critical project. So I couldn't spend much time on learning as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so then I thought, okay, so uh, since it is support, uh, I have to learn much more to get into the development role. So then I uh, started learning from Feb- February. Um, so... So I mainly focused on uh, uh, practicing coding as well, and also uh, uh, like learning about the Azure, like how Data Factory works, uh, how Databricks works. Um, so I also learned about the cl- uh, like learned about clusterings as well. Mm-hmm. So then later, uh, a later on point, uh, I thought, okay, uh, uh, putting paper will be good because I uh, it's been it's been more than a year since I started this course like it's nearly an year so i thought like, i don't want to waste time anymore like if i if i postpone i'll postpone anyway exactly uh, it will start in one month then i'll uh think okay maybe after six months we'll try maybe mm-hmm. a good opportunity will come maybe we'll get good experience so so this is the thing which makes me uh, like uh, procrastinating the, my work and my goal as well so then i came into conclusion that okay whatever happens uh, we'll see anyway uh, uh, it's been four years also so i actually uh, were ready to take risk and uh, exactly. so um, so july i completed my fourth year and i put the same paper uh, like paper in the same day um, so i actually followed your instructions like how to optimize the uh, now creep profile how to optimize the linkedin profile and i think once you optimize you are getting lot of call right i think yes of course yes of course almost. yeah so i was having a lot of doubts because uh, uh linkedin it is optimized like which, which means like i have some connections mm-hmm. um so once after optimizing it then only i got uh, calls from like good companies as well um, even in linkedin linkedin um, we won't get much calls mm-hmm. but uh, even though uh, since we added a lot of uh, project certifications uh, um accreditations like everything um, so that also uh, an add on mm-hmm. and uh, naukri uh, like the paid version actually helped. Okay. Um, so a l- lot of calls I got. Um, since you said like uh, for notice period, 90 days, nobody will accept. And uh, uh, so even if, if I say 90 days, uh, they'll just hang out. They'll just try to hang out soon as soon as possible. So then mm. uh, I uh, I told like I have one month notice period. So then that actually helped me to get a lot of calls. Uh, 
um so i said uh, negotiation is possible from my company um so so that is how they are okay with um, because most of the people are really struggling with the 90 days of notice yes. i think you put the paper that is also kind of a turning point yeah other is no one will be really because in the tcs 90 days is the one so that is sometime it will not be reducing yes so, so yes so in 90 days also one of the biggest challenge most of the people are facing yeah yeah uh, companies like uh, microsoft google they will be okay with 90 days even with more than that and uh, service based companies like toti like infosys like those like they will be also okay but uh, other co- few companies they will not be okay they will be asking immediate joiners uh, 15 days or less Yeah, yes. uh, like in thirty days also, fifteen yes. days, ten days. This is the one they are asking. Actually. Yes, yes, yes. Their expectations will be there, but uh-huh. uh, like, uh, like that's how it it worked. And um, so uh, the course wise, um, I, 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 my actually one of my colleague uh, suggested vision board. Uh, okay. So that's how I joined. Uh, so I guess that's the actual uh, turning point for me. <laughs> thanks for i and i are you sharing right so thanks for yes, yes. the also because people are telling like that we also motivate <coughs> helping yes. us yes yes you know like we have lot of uh, people who is taking like uh, connecting courses and uh, this is like how you are standing out is you are uh, actually with people uh, you are motivating them daily and uh, so like uh, i was not this kind of exp- expressive person before uh, <laughs> like <laughs> like actually uh, in in our life uh, few people we met and they actually teach us uh, how uh, our life will be like this is also a turning point for me and a lot of other people who actually completed course um, so that is also uh, i can say vision board is standing out uh, from other uh, people like and say uh, because so, maybe we face lot of issues while transition right maybe i yes, also yes. face with the law package like a lot yes. of politics so when i created this community it's like i just want to know make sure I, everyone because everyone has capable that is the reason we are serving in the it industry yes but some reason you mentioned right broadcast nation mm. and some inconsistency this is the main thing we are lagging back Yes. when we fix that one is someone at least one person will support the thing right at least when i call you guna uh, you can do it so that word is enough you can get an opportunity yes of course yes of course uh, personally uh, i'm not sure how many people like will be get supported in um, but related to this field if they are support because they know how uh, uh, things work in this field so if they give that uh, support i guess uh, will be able to move forward without some hesitation as well exactly. uh, because our parents supporting like they will anyway support us mm. uh, so this will be something different uh, that will push push us forward this is our career support actually yes. that's the yes. one thing almost everyone is lagging because yeah. our parents our family husband everyone will support us mm, yeah. but uh, career wise people will be selfish in that part yes, they will yes. be telling how to get in because some people will not be like it if you get currently you holding like in 4 and pay to 20 that is mm. that is kind of a huge jump yes, so all yes. the people will not be like that one yeah so that is the main thing guna i think you also did a great job and in the transition is like an inspiring the people so because this is not an easy one yeah they be yeah. actually uh, so there uh, i actually uh, got failed in lot of interviews as well uh-huh. so i am the person who is very scared to give interview um, so you you are saying that you just give interview and you will get experience so mm-hmm. that's how you will get lot of offers mm-hmm. even though i know but i i was having some hesitation to give uh, even one interview so oh. then uh, then like you will get you will reach one certain point where you will uh, leave everything aside you will just uh, do whatever your heart says mm. so that's how uh, i reached some uh, point where i, I couldn't even uh, tolerate my procrastination I, i said okay whatever happens you are doing this uh, so that, that's how i put paper then i gave interview the first interview uh, i didn't get uh, selected but i performed well like oh. i have that uh, uh because the hesitation was there hmm um i didn't even give the mock interviews before uh-huh. uh, but the i just had with confident um so i completed that very well but anyway i'm not sure about the uh, result of that interview um so i still remember that how i presented myself in that uh, uh, situation so uh-huh. later on uh, later on i i gave uh, interviews continuously 
uh, even though whether it is a startup or a, even as a big company i i didn't care about what's the result is mm. i just focused on how i should answer how i should present and how i can impress in interviewers um like how i can show that i am a good candidate to them so so yeah like we are kind of a pro in put 100 percentage yes yes and you know like if you if you ask me these same questions before four or five months i couldn't answer this <laughs> and all this experience i got because of giving interviews only Exactly. Uh, that is the one. That is the main thing about the fact that also because when giving interviews, also we need to familiarize with the part end and yes. we tell confident the people or companies also need confident and energetic person. So yes, yes. Most of the people are lagging. Yes, yes, of course. And uh, if if I give lot of interviews, the same questions will be repeated. So mm-hmm. those questions I will be uh, able to answer confidently. So mm-hmm. I just have to focus on what. different unique question i am getting and the next time i should focus on that question whether it's a coding or scenario based or anything mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. yeah sometimes behavior questions will be there so that also will uh, that will challenge us uh, mm-hmm. how we should answer this mm-hmm. we, sh- we should be answer like we have that experience we should uh, answer like we can handle the situation mm-hmm. uh, so those kind of answers they were expecting um, yeah. so everything it it went well actually mm-hmm. and one more thing when i like it when you coming into the negotiations right mm-hmm. so like an uh, from my experience initial offer letter we can expect like an 30 to 40 percentage or maximum you are underpaid like an mm-hmm. like an 100 percent yes how you manage these kind of situation like a negotiation with like like this kind of gen what are the trip uh, tricks you used for that one um so actually um first offer i got from um, uh, so one of the big four company mm-hmm. so they even though they are big four they offer me less since my base package is less mm-hmm. i couldn't even argue with them because i don't have any other package with me mm-hmm. any other offer with me and um, so i said okay uh, give me some time i will i will ch- i'll look on this um, so i'll get back to you mm-hmm. and uh, so then uh, after getting the first offer since you said um, you wait and give the interviews you will get more offer um, so that's how i waited and also i later on i got lot of calls and i, I attended more companies mm-hmm. so with this offer i asked uh, like if i if i for example uh, if i have 9 lpa i asked them like um, can we move around uh, 13 lpa or 14 lpa um, uh, so for my, for my experience i have been underpaid for this many years so i guess for market standards i, I guess this package will be um, a better aligned with my uh, expectations as well so so that's how i uh, so i kept that package 13 lpa so with that 13 lpa i checked with another company uh, can we go around with 15 or 16 so uh, so uh, so same same that's how i use the negotiation with 15 i asked for 17 so and lot of the people they are, they are not okay with that uh, because they just want candidate uh, to they just want us to uh, get the lowest package right like their work is to uh, make us satisfied with this package mm-hmm. so uh, and we should not uh, hold on to that i guess so we should we should fight uh, standard value will be there yes yes so, uh, we sit in a same company that's the reason we our lo- different reason we sit we uh, sit in a, a different company of same years mm-hmm. but like and that years of experience is already there definitely yes, yes. the uh, like and companies will be pay for that particular experience itself so yes yes only negotiation only we can able to yes of course. of course i think hr will convince right already a lot of time Yes, yes, Devi. Actually, mostly at first they will underestimate us since our base salary is very less, mm-hmm. and uh, so how we are negotiating with other offer is matters. Um, so that also has helped me uh, here mm-hmm. with other offer I have uh, mm-hmm. had this. Yeah, yeah, sure, brother. And finally, you know, uh, other than this one, who are we preparing? I think who are as a girl, they are struggling. They they are with the motherhood or whatever. You can also mm. understand, right? Mm. Yeah. So, uh, different uh, those people. How you can give them motivation or what are the things you can tell them? Um. Sure. Um. So, I would say um, 
just go for it i would say uh, because i was hesitated for long time even though my friends were shifting other companies uh, and they have been shifted to like around two to three companies i can see um um like i actually had that motivation to move before them but since i was hesitated um i was telling myself that okay you may not do it you may not able to do this um so that self low self esteem was there with me and uh, so later on i don't know maybe because of you i guess i got confidence <laughs> so that also have helped me uh, to push myself forward and uh, so that's what I, you need someone to push uh, you forward because uh, that is what we are lacking within ourselves um we 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 can have a self motivation uh, but uh, you should be uh, in that place where you are completely broken like people who have not completely broken will not have that much motivation i guess or mm-hmm. some someone have to push you forward um, so i would say don't hesitate and just go for it um, just have some manifestation and uh, uh, just keep on practicing it whatever happens anyway it is going to happen even if you're not doing it there is nothing going to happen um, so i would say uh, even if you have uh, like coming after uh, a, a marriage or something after long gap um i would say like you don't think that you are lacking behind lot of people uh, you just need that uh, confident um, thinking um, just to move over that said i guess yeah, exactly <laughs> thanks for any day thanks for yeah. your words so i think this word will be motivating a lot of people so we can make a like an, in the i'm just expecting like an after one year maybe you are getting like a better better practice from the industry yeah they be sure i'm expecting same and i will i'm also wishing everyone who's uh, um, like opting this course then i also like want them to shine in their life not only in the um, in the technical terms i can, I can say so much of openings are available yeah yeah i can say for azure there is a lot of opening compared to, to aws i can say lots of openings are but yes. you are not sitting and prepare so that is the gap yes yes yeah yeah you yeah also, right you are getting lot even the four years of experience getting after modifying the resume you are getting like a lots of calls mm, yes yes so yeah i i can say like just uh, uh, resume template is very important and how you are modifying that is important and also interviewing like performance wise just try your best to impress the interviewer so that uh, you will you will be having less competition if you impress him them yeah. uh, so that's how and also i wanted to share few more things uh, uh, the questions which they asked in the interview um so i can i can see like lot of repeated questions they were asking is about spark architecture mm-hmm. and um, the scd types and how uh, you will uh, do that in a real life mm-hmm. mostly they were focusing on the scenario based in the adf and um, so apart from that sql if, if they are uh, ranking questions in the sql they also want us to put in the by spark both sql and pyspark so i guess um, uh, joins windows functions um, so these kind of basics if you know how to put in sql and pyspark as well so sure we can expect some uh, tricky questions but uh, so that alone uh, can't uh, decide your performance but if you are prepared in another uh, aspects of all other uh, questions so i guess that will help you to crack the interview as well mm-hmm. got it got it I think that would be the thing. Uh, you can also use this one for the whatever the Kunal is sharing, right? That is kind of a valuable and priceless uh, like a word. So follow that one. Wishing all the best. Everyone getting an offer letter in the 2020. Yes, I wish everyone uh, should get an uh, offer before New Year as a gift. <laughs> exactly, Kunal. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Kunal. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much for inviting oh. me. I hope uh, I've answered all the questions. Yeah. Thank you, Devi. Bye-bye.